Hey guys, it's Julen. Welcome back to my channel. It is my one day off for the month from teaching and dancing and so I get to film all day for the channel. I decided to drive out in the 70 mile radius from my home. I'm here in Norco, California and I'm in this really interesting place where it's like a nursery inside of a residential area like behind a house so that's exactly what I'm doing. I have Emmy with me so there's little doggies in this front house and it's trying to protect their territory. It's sunny, it's windy, I don't know how much filming I'm gonna get done. I was actually not planning on coming to this nursery but it was literally just right around the corner from where I just had breakfast so I could not pass up not stopping by here. So we'll see. Um, this is a surprise come with me, last minute. This is kind of the section here that I'm at, where the nursery's at, very interesting. All right, let's go check it out. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, in somebody's backyard. We're here at a very interesting plant nursery. I guess it's somebody's backyard and I guess anytime when it's just like the owner on the property, they get kind of weirded out that I'm entering their property by myself. I'm like, this is a plant nursery, right? But this plant nursery has uh, a lot of birds, guys. So this is a very interesting come with me. Again, another random come with me because I was not planning on coming here. This place was two minutes away from where I was having breakfast. So I could not pass up not just coming by to just see what they had. Um, but this was not planned. So another <laughs> come with me episode, but unplanned. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a very big property. I'm gonna flip the point of view so you can see what I'm looking at. All right. So here is the back portion of the property, and um, there's a lot to see. So nothing that interests me, but I still want to go and check out this area. So here is some um, Cressula ovatas and I apologize if it's windy. I don't know how this content is going to turn out. Last time it was very windy was in the desert hot springs. But Norco, California is windy guys. So here's some interesting plant life here. Some Aeoniums. Ooh, this is actually one of my favorites right here. Look at how big this thing is. Look at this. I've never seen this particular kind of succulent this tall and big. It's like a tree. I wonder how much they're going for. These um, privately owned nurseries, you see a lot of mixed type succulent planters. That one caught my eye just because of that particular succulents. There's a lot of birds and chickens and interesting things on this property. Give this video a thumbs up for an unplanned location. This is definitely one for the books. I'll share with you what I'm looking at here. Look at all the birds. Look at this. He's a bird collector. Look at this. You can live in here with the birds. There's so many of them. I've never seen such big extravagant bird cages before. I thought I'd seen it all. like pretty much it is his backyard and he just turned it into a plant nursery I've noticed that is like the trending thing for a lot of plant retail spaces is that it's done in their yard which is kind of interesting going 
going on over here, but I do see some bigger birds here. What's going on here? Now that it's like, okay, propagating, trying to propagate at least. Guys, this place is uh, giving me interesting vibes here. Definitely interesting. I'll take you guys through here. Okay. Oh no, the birds are coming. Oh my goodness. Abby, they're bigger than you. Oh my goodness. Are you getting scared, Abby? I think she's getting scared. The wind's crazy. They're following us, Evie. Okay. Some chickens. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. mommy would you yeah Doggies, don't bark at me. Okay, this must be his house because there's more bird cages here. do the outro in my car because one it is very windy and two this nursery was like giving me sketchy vibes um yeah i don't know the owner was kind of giving me weird vibes and it's so weird when i come to these like whenever i come to these nurseries that are owned by like a property owner where it's like in their yard or whatever they kind of give me like weird vibes guys i don't know he was like i don't know it was weird I get these encounters with plant nursery owners when I enter their property and like nobody's on the property and I'm just rolling up with my dog and myself. They kind of gave me weird vibes. So that was like a weird vibe. If you just seen like his plant retail space, it's definitely like a chop shop vibe. Um, again, this was not a nursery that I was planning on coming to, but I was eating breakfast literally two minute drive away. So I figured why not come and check it out. 
um, because it's just literally right around the corner from where I was eating breakfast. But I'm in Norco, California. Sound off down below. What do you think about the nursery? Um, it was definitely like his backyard and he was definitely into birds and the type of plants that he offered weren't the greatest and not in the greatest condition i would definitely not buy any of my plants if i lived in this neighborhood i'd rather go to my home depot or local lowe's or or even like a walmart i think would be better than coming here to get plants so sound off down below what did you guys think of this sketchy come with me Definitely a random city I've never been to before, Norco, California. I'm going to be doing more Come With Me content in this area, but on specific locations that I want to go and visit. But this one was not planned. So I hope you guys just enjoyed something very random. And um, I'm telling you guys, I love everything from hole in the walls to boutique plant shops to big box stores to uh, locally owned plant nursery retail spaces the come with me series definitely gives you a big broad spectrum of what the retail space is like in different cities and as far as for like plants just in general i mean you can buy plants anywhere um but again this was very definitely i can't even talk i need to get out of here i feel weird i'm parked in front of his house but i hope you guys enjoyed this random come with me sound off down below your thoughts again you know this come with me series this come with me series is a very fun interesting series where it gets me into different spaces i've never been to before and again something like this retail space as you can see you can get plants anywhere sound off down below let me know your thoughts on this particular come with me episode very random um and it was scary i definitely did not want to stay there long he kept following me it was weird anyway um if you're new welcome to the channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified of my daily uploads ebby's going crazy because she's happy to be back in the car um and i'll see you guys on my next plant adventure and yes i'll see you guys soon you can find more of my blog at alajulian.blogspot.com here's ebby acting crazy <laughs> and i'll see you guys on the next video aloha from norco california bye